And I would like to personally, and I'm sure anyone else in this audience, I would like to personally invite any elected official or anyone who feels that I use my child as a paycheck or that I use my child's services um, to embellish the money that I'm getting. And I would love to invite them to the White House anytime they would like to come. And I would love for them to see exactly how their money is spent, our money is spent. And I assure you, they will say, Whew, you, this is ridiculous. They're cutting these services? Yes, they're cutting these services. They're cutting the lifeline of our family members. But most importantly, I want to thank each and every one of you because 95% of you people out here have no idea who I am, but yet you're here. And you're here because we're all the same. And we're all here for the same reason. We're all here because either we are on waiver, a loved one's on waiver, we work for an agency who's on waiver, who, who we work with individuals on waiver, we know someone who needs this. We know someone who this would be devastating if they cut this lifeline for them. And I want to thank you because this isn't about me. This is about you. This is about our families. This is about every single person standing here, every single person wishing they could be here with us today. It's about all of us. And I may have started this journey because of my son, Bailey, but I guarantee you I will finish this journey because of Madison, because of Jacob, because of William, because of Sophie, because of every Every single person on all 4,562 and the 1,027 people waiting to receive services from waiver. I will not go anywhere until I have no breath left in me, and Lord knows that's not happening anytime soon, or until 4 o'clock, 5.59 on April 24th. I promise you, someone asked me, what happens now? This is not the end. This, my friends, is the beginning. This is when we stand our ground and we rally together and we join as one and we let them hear our voice. You have to go to DHHR website. You have to make those comments. Doing it on Facebook is great and I love waking up every day and seeing empowering posts, but that's not going to get the job done, people. You have to comment on the DHHR website. That's the only way this is going to change. And I would encourage you to make an appointment with your legislators who will be here for interims on Monday the 13th. I already have my appointment with my senator. At one o'clock on Monday, I'm going to be in his office and we're going to talk because he's there to listen for me and your legislators and your delegates, you voted them in and they will, you are a constituent and they will listen to you. I promise you that. Give them a chance. Don't, don't badmouth what you've heard. Give them a chance. Educate them. Educate them first. And if they can't be educated, well, then we'll worry about that later. I want to thank you. Um, everyone up here thanks you. Like I said, what's the most important thing we can do is comment on the DHHR website. So before we go, I'm all about some uh, loudness. So I need you to be ready, and I need you to say it with me. Don't cut our lifeline. Don't cut our lifeline.